Hello friends, welcome to Mac Vidya. Today we will discuss one more advanced welding technique known as the plasma arc welding. So what is plasma? Let us take an example uh, of a glass full of ice. Now if I hit it, it will get converted into liquid. Again on hitting this liquid, it will get converted into its gaseous state. Now if I go on applying heat to this gas, a time will come when this gas will be ionized and it will start to conduct electricity. This state is called plasma. Now what separates a solid from a liquid and a liquid from a gas and plasma is the arrangement of its molecules and the amount of kinetic energy present in the molecules. In solids, the atoms are placed orderly and they vibrate about their fixed positions. On hitting, the kinetic energy of molecules increases and the bonds become weak. Further addition of energy breaks the bond and the molecules move randomly at high kinetic energy in gas. On further hitting, the atoms are broken down into positive and negative ions known as plasma. Now let us go deep inside the atomic structure to understand the formation of plasma. Let us suppose we have an atom of argon. Now focus on the balanced electrons, that is the electrons in the outermost shell. When any form of energy is given to the atom, the kinetic energy uh, in in increases uh, tremendously and they start colliding with neighboring atoms at very high velocity. In this process, the valence electrons get separated from the outermost shell as free electrons. As a result, the atoms become surplus in the positive charge while the free electrons become negatively charged. Now, when millions of uh, these positive and uh, negative ions collide like this, an ionized channel is formed and the, it becomes electrically conducting. This state of matter is called plasma. Now let us uh, see how we can weld metals using this plasma. Suppose we have two workpieces which are to be welded. Now a nozzle is introduced. An electrode connected to a DC supply is kept in between the nozzle. Now inside the nozzle we will inject argon or helium gas. Uh, which is to be converted into the plasma state. So first an arc is set up in between the electrode and the nozzle. As a result when the argon or the helium will pass through the spark this gas will be converted to plasma. This nozzle is kept inside an arrangement where the shielding gases are injected to protect the weld pool from oxidation. So a constricted plasma flame is obtained which does the entire welding. So remember the shielding gases may be carb uh, carbon dioxide or hydrogen. The nozzle that we use is usually made up of copper. The electrode is made up of tungsten. It is because tungsten's melting point is very high and it can resist extreme condition. Now one more uh, thing that um, is there. Uh, uh, we have two ways by which we can initiate the arc. The transferred arc method and the non-transferred arc method. In transfer arc method, the electrode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery whereas the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal. The, uh, thus, the arc initiates in between the electrode and the workpiece and we get a steady ionized plasma channel. In the second case, the electrode is connected now, uh, the electrode is connected to the negative terminal while the nozzle now is connected to the positive terminal. Thus, the arc now propagates from electrode to the nozzle. And here I have uh, listed some of the merits and demerits of this process. You can pause the video and take some notes if you want. So this was all about the plasma arc welding. For more such informative videos, please subscribe Mac with